Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create Flipper Coin app using MIT App Inventor. So as you can see, so for this we are going to use random numbers in MIT App Inventor. So I am going to show you the demo of this app. So first I need to click on the flip coin button and now you can see that the coin is being flipped and it is heads. I'll click on flip coin. Now it is tails. I'll click again. You can see that it is again tails. So it will take a random of both the sides of the coin and it will show it. So this can be helpful when you want to decide between two things or if you are playing any game. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. So first we are going to show the image of the coin. So for that I am going to bring in the image component from the user interface like this. Next I am going to put this to be at the center of screen 1. So in the properties of screen 1, change align horizontal and align vertical to be center like this. Now you can see that this image came to the center of the screen. Next we need to upload both the images here to MIT App Inventor the head and the tail of the coin so I'm going to give the link in the description where you can upload them so you can see that I have already uploaded them in the media section so the first one is download.png and this one is the tail of the coin and then download1.png is the head of the coin like this next what we are going to do is we are going to set the default picture of this image to be download.png like this and if you want you can change the size now I think this size is okay next I'm going to put a background color to this screen so it's going to be the light blue color which you can see at the background of this image the coin image so let me go to screen one and here in the properties go to background color and I'm going to go to custom and over here I'm going to copy a color code like this this color code which is the same color as this one now you can see that there's no difference between both of these colors. So if you want the same color code as I did, I'm going to give this color code in the description below so that you can copy and paste it here. Next let's go to user interface and we are going to bring in the button component. Let's change the text of this to be flip coin. I'm going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this to be 18 like this. So when the, when the user clicks on this button flip coin it will flip the coin also we are going to bring in a label and in this label we are going to show whether it's the head or the tail so as you can see now it's the tail so now at the beginning I'm not going to put any text over here I'm going to make the font to be bold for this label now let's go to the block section so first we are going to create a variable called random number so let me rename this variable and we are going to set this variable to be zero so let me go to the math blocks and I'm going to bring in 0 like this. Next what we are going to do is whenever button 1 is clicked. So button 1 is the flip coin button. So whenever the user clicks on this button, the coin needs to be flipped. So to flip the coin and pick a random side of the coin, a random image between these two images, download1 and download.png, we are going to use this variable where we will save a random number so we will first set this variable to be let's go to the math blocks and here you can see there's a block called random integer from 1 to 100 let me bring in this block and let's change this to be 1 to 2 this means that this variable will have a value of a random integer from 1 to 2 so it can either be 1 or it can be 2 next we are going to put if conditions to put the head and tail the image of the head and tail of a coin so let me bring in the if condition like this and here I'm going to bring in the equal to operator from the math blocks like this here let me bring in this block get random number so we will get the num random number and if the random number is 1 we are going to show the tail so let me duplicate this and I'm going to put if random number is equal to 1 we will show the tail image so to show the image let's go to image 1 and here you can see there's a block called set image 1 dot picture 2 let, let me bring in this block so for the tail image it is download.png if you want you can also rename these images so that it will be easier for you 
to do in the block section. So I'm going to put download.png which is the tail image. Also we will show it in the label 1 as tail. So let me bring in label 1.txt to this block and here let me go to text and I'm going to bring in an empty string like this. Over here I'm going to type tails. Next let's go to this icon the settings icon of the if condition and we are going to bring in the else if condition or the else condition over here. So let me bring in else like this over here and inside the else we are going to duplicate these both blocks. So let me just duplicate this and this time we will set the image to be download1.png and the same way let me duplicate this block also and we will set the label 1.txt to be head like this. So this means that whenever the random number which can either be 1 or 2 is 1 it means that it is tails and it will show the image and it will also be visible in label 1. Else which means that it is not 1 and it is 2 then what we will do is we will set the image 1.picture to be download1.png and the label 1.txt to be heads like this. So here you can see the app I am going to click on flip coin. Now you can see that it is heads, I will click on flip coin again, now it is tails, again heads, tails, now it is again tails and now again it is tails. So this will be helpful whenever you want to choose or decide between two items or if you are also playing a game you can use this to find whoever needs to play the game first. Now you need to learn more about random numbers in MIT App Inventor. And you should be able to create a game using random numbers in MIT App Inventor. So if you want to create a game like dice rolling game, watch the dice rolling game tutorial which I have made a month ago. And using this you can create a game using which you you'll roll the dice by shaking the mobile phone. And the dice will show a random number between 1 to 6. As you can see here the dice is being rolled and it shows a random number and it will show scores of two players it's a competition between two players so you can cl create this game to learn more about random numbers in MIT App Inventor also I have created another game called guess the number game which also uses random numbers so here the mobile will pick a random number between 1 to 10 and we need to guess the number which is picked by the mobile and we need to type it so if you want to create the dice rolling game watch this video and if you want to create the guess the number game watch this video and make sure to subscribe.